and welcome back to my channel Lisana does things here we are with part two of how to build your sleigh station 2.0 drawers and as always let's see how big time I messed up on the last video let's see if I can fix it this time let's pick up where we left off on step number four You want to make sure that you have a rag handy when you're doing the drawer sliders because there is grease on the slides just to make sure they're going smoothly in and out. That way you're not damaging the surface of your drawers. This doesn't seem right. By not reading the instructions, I just added an extra step. I didn't do anything wrong but it does feel pretty wrong. Step five says that I need the same little screws I used before in the same drawer slide, as well as two number sevens. If you want the hole to be facing on this side, you want this little stick on that side. You'll see the number seven right here. Same steps for board number 12. At this point, my hands were getting super tired, so if you need a break, take a break. I'm still really trying to figure out how to get that third screw in and it's clearly not working. You want to make sure that the pre-drilled holes align with the holes on the slider drawers. And I learned that it doesn't really matter which of the three holes you drill that to as long as they're in. So you're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Alright friends, so we are finally done with step number 7. Going on to step number 8. Um, 
Hmm. So looks like we have to glue some stuff. Um, so I gotta find boards nine, eight, and seven. BRB. you guys so it looks like I cut myself one of the boards fell and hit me when I was looking for number nine so I'm just gonna put a band-aid on it <laughs> I'm so sad and we're gonna need glue for this one so get your glue ready all right so first step number eight we finished building the drawers, um, so we're gonna need glue, the 1.25 inch uh, screwdrivers, um, screws, not screwdrivers, which is 0060. We're gonna need four of those and a screwdriver. Um, and this is basically what we're gonna build seven, nine, and eight. We're gonna build them together. So we're gonna go, we have our glue stick right here, our screwdriver, and we're gonna go in our bag. I find screw zero, zero, ew, what's in my nail? I promise you that's from building. We're gonna find screw zero, zero, six C. So this is four by 32 millimeters. Uh, 32 millimeters is 1.25 inches. So we're gonna measure it right, oops. I'm gonna measure it right here so that's exactly 1.25 inches we're gonna need four of those and these are um, in this bag you have really long ones you have the gold ones right here and the silver ones so you're gonna need four silver I'm gonna take seven facing this way making sure that the sliders um, facing out and towards the bottom we're gonna take number nine uh, this is number nine we're gonna make sure that the line is facing inside we're gonna somehow stick it in here and we're gonna take number eight this number eight has a slider so because we don't see it in the picture we're just gonna make sure that it's gonna be facing out and we're gonna stick that bad boy right in here that's that we need to add glue right here where this um, little knob is. I kid you not, there's so much styrofoam that gets stuck everywhere and you'll see styrofoam in your house all the time. I'm gonna be honest, so for the price that I paid for my sleigh station, I'm really disappointed in the glue. It reminds me of like Elmer school glue that you would use in first grade for arts and crafts. Um, it just doesn't stick. So I suggest if you're planning on keeping your vanity long term, use wood glue. Go ahead and take your handy dandy screw and screw it into the pre-drilled holes on both sides. Step number eight, so you want to repeat it for um, the other drawers. So grab seven, nine, and eight. Did I tell you that you're going to just keep cleaning off the styrofoam at every single step?
starting to feel real, you guys. Here is the confusion of step number nine. So it looks like we're gonna put our drawers in and we're gonna grab those. Um, and we're gonna need some more glue, one of these things, more screws, and we're gonna put in our knobs. Let's do it. when you're sliding in the base that it's properly tucked in at the bottom and on all sides. So now it's telling us that we need four of these. Um, and these are the hardware that are found inside of the little um, sealed bags. Oops, so you're gonna find them in here. And we're gonna take this and put it right here. So you're just gonna have to grab number six and grab some more glue. The trick to this is if you squeeze it right when it gets to the tip, it's so much easier to coat it. Boom, boom. You don't have a mess. Um, and then you're gonna wanna go in here. Now you're gonna need to grab this a little higher so you can insert it. take your piece of hardware and insert it where the gap meets the screw because you're going to take your screwdriver and twist it in to tighten in the gaps. This is a step where you want to use your larger head screw to twist that hardware because that hardware is going to pull in the front of the drawer closer to the side of the drawer. We finally made it to the most glamorous step of this process and this is where we're going to insert the diamond knobs into our drawers. And because all good things must come to an end, that's it for part two of our video. Stay tuned for part three, which is the final step so you can see the completed drawers. As always, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time, dolls.